quick one. Skytrax Airport Award was held this week. And Qatar has lost its position as the number one airport in the world after winning it back to back in 2021 and 2022. These awards came started in 1999. And Qatar had never won it. But during the pandemic, COVID-19 for sure, Qatar put a lot of measures in place. Other airports were, I mean, were not living up to standards. So Qatar snatched. Since then, they won it back to back. Hoping to win it a hat trick the third time. If you know football, you know what it means, hat trick, yes. Hoping to win it the third time, especially after hosting the World Cup, Qatar has lost its position. Not to Dubai. I know how you people rate Dubai. You think Dubai airport is the best. I'm going to give you the full list of the top 10 airports in the world. Now, let's start from the top. Or no, let's start from the bottom. So, at the 10th position is Baraja Airport. That airport is in Madrid, Spain. That is the 10th airport in the world. And then number 9 is Narita Airport. Yes, Narita International Airport is also in Japan. Then we have number 8, Zurich Airport. Also found in Switzerland. Then followed by Munich Airport. Germany is at the number 7th position. Then we go to number 6th position, Istanbul Airport, Turkey. Turkey where currently uh, the earthquake happened. They are at number 6. Then at number 5 is Paris uh, de... Let me write it over there because I can't pronounce this French. I've forgotten, you know, I learned this French, but yeah. But they are at number 5. And then number 4 is Incheon International Airport. <laughs> That is also South Korea. They are at number four. And then number three is Tokyo International Airport. Showdown in Little Tokyo. That's also Japan. Now, at number two, Qatar dropped from number one to number two. There are things you need to put in place to be at this position. Qatar is at number two, but we all know Qatar has one of the best airports in the world. I mean, some of the things they are doing that's putting them at this position is, you know, Currently, if you're in Qatar, especially if you're living in Qatar, you'll be seeing um, some yellow buses in town, these double-decker buses, like we call it in Ghana, anti day, day with people inside roaming in the country. This is one of the things they do. If here is a transit, if you are passing here to another country, let's say China, and you would have to wait for um, at least eight hours, Qatar provides you these buses to convey you, show you beautiful places in the city of Doha and all that. These are things they do that, I mean, people rate them. These, these uh, awards are ratings from people who travel a lot. Big people. These are some of the things Qatar is doing. Now, let's go to the number one position where I said, I know people will think it's Dubai, but it's not Dubai. Dubai is at number 17 position, so it's not Dubai. Guess. I want somebody to guess in the comment section. Don't, don't wait for me to say. Just guess. If you get it right, I'll give you something. Maybe I'll, 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 I'll foot the bill for a trip for you to that country. <laughs> yeah, so number one is Singapore Shanji Airport. Yeah, Singapore has been doing great for some years now. And even before Qatar won it back to back in 2021 and 2022, they had won it for eight times consecutively like that. So it's not new to them, but they've just taken their place. They told Qatar that, look, during the COVID, we have small issues, so we we're sorting. So now we are back. They've taken the thing. Now I know it's going to be a tough one between Qatar and, uh, how do you call it, Singapore, because Qatar is doing renovation at the airport. Expansion is happening, and I know crazy stuff are going to happen at the airport. So Singapore, <laughs> don't feel relaxed. You need to do something. Now, let me tell you why Singapore is the best airport in the world. Apart from the fact that they have 280 shopping outlets and eateries, they have waterfall at their airport. No, I'm not saying fountain. I said waterfall. They have waterfall of about 40 meters. Like you see water falling from heights. Apart from that, they have a butterfly garden at the airport also. Yeah, butterfly garden. So you can go there. It looks, that place looks like heaven, you know. The last time I visited heaven, hey, sorry. Uh, the heaven they told us in the Bible where Garden of Eden and you see animals and all that. They have a beautiful, I mean, garden over there, butterfly garden, colorful. You see all sort of stuff over there. So 
these are things and they have places for leisure, for business type, for kids and all that. And they have IMAX cinema also over there. IMAX is one of the biggest companies that provides cinemas for people. And they have this cinema over there. So many if you are laying over for so many hours, there's never a dull moment. They always keep you. I mean, you don't get tired of being at the airport. Some airports I know, when you reach there, oh, you don't get, there's nothing to do. Even bench to sit on. I don't want to say Nigeria, but like the last, see, the, let's forget about it. Whatever. Let me take you through the other awards that were given out. Let's say Singapore did not only win the best airport in the world. They also won the best airport in Asia. They won the best airport, uh, uh, the world best airport with leisure amenities. Like when you reach there, there are things to keep you company. Like there are things that you keep doing that there's no dull moments, you see. And they won the best airport for, for, for dining. Like when you want to eat food, the, the kind of dishes. They, I want to eat Ghanaian food. I got there. I got it. You don't get there and you want to eat something, you don't get it. No, Singapore airport has everything. So they want that also. They want the best hotel also. You know, some airports, they have hotels that uh, you can just go there, book, lay over. When your flight time is due, you go and join. So they want that also with, with the, uh, uh, how do they call this? The Crown Plaza Hotel, luxurious Crown Plaza Hotel. They want that with it. And they've won that for the eighth time, the hotel aspect. This is the eighth time they are winning that. So that tells you Singapore is not playing. It's not just one aspect they are looking at. They are doing everything holistically. Yeah, now, Qatar also won other awards, which includes best airport shopping, like, you know, duty-free and other things. When you get to airport, there are places like that. Qatar won the best um, shopping uh, airport in the world. And they also won the best airport in the Middle East. So when you take all the Arab countries, like Dubai, where Dubai is 17th in the world, and maybe second in Middle East. Qatar is the first. Saudi Arabia comes no close. Bahrain comes no close. Kuwait comes no close. Qatar is the best in Middle East, period. And Qatar also won the cleanest airport in the Middle East as well. It's not just beautiful, it's also clean. <laughs> and the best airport for baggage, baggage collection, went to Bahrain. Yes, you know, when you get to some airport, before you take your bag, you go through stress. Or before you know, somebody has torn your bag and taken something out of it. They are saying, when it comes to this aspect, the whole world is barren. They are number one. They make sure your baggage and everything intact. You get it the way. I think nobody, I'm sure nobody has complained of missing anything at that airport before. That's why I, I'm just guessing. This is not something I've read or I know. So this is for uh, Bahrain. And when we talk about best airport staff, Stuff that when you get there, they are laughing with you. They are doing stuff. They are asking you questions. Please, where are you going? Can I take you here? Blah, blah, blah. Guess where? It goes to Incheon Airport. That's South Korea. It goes to them. Their hospitality is top-notch. So they won that also. U.S. won best new airport in the world uh, with an airport in New York called uh, LaGuardia Airport. Yeah, that won the new airport in the world. And also, they won a new category that was created or premiered on that day, which is airport with the most beautiful art, which went to George Bush International Airport in Houston. They won that. And the best airport in the U.S. is actually Seattle Airport. Yeah, Seattle Tacoma International Airport. Yeah, that's the airport. It won the best overall airport in the U.S. You know, these countries have a lot of airports in them. U.S. can boast of maybe over 20 airports when they are crowning the best in the country. That's the airport, that one, Seattle Airport or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, that's the name. That's the name. And the best airport in Africa is <laughs> Cape Town. Yeah, Cape Town in South Africa, one of the best airports in Africa. I don't know. If you want me to do for Africa the best 10 airports in Africa, I can do it. If you want me to, just drop, yes, drop it in the comment section. And also, not just that. Any top 10 something you want me to do, just let me know. And also the best airport in India. India also has a lot of... India is a big country. You know, they have a lot of airports. And the best airport in India and South Asia is India's Delhi International Airport. They Thank you so much for sticking and staying in Slide TV. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all social media at Kama underscore Sly. If you like, add a TV to it. Everywhere, Kama Slide TV. And I'll bring you more of this. Catch you. What's up, Sly?